Lois, look at this. My essay won first prize in the New England Rising Writers Contest. I'm gonna be honored at the big ceremony on Martha's Vineyard. They're gonna put me up at a luxury hotel, all expenses paid. Over a thousand people entered the contest and they chose mine. Well, that's wonderful, Brian. Come on, Peter, we're gonna be late for lunch with Mom and Dad. Oh. Right. You didn't forget, did you? No, no, I didn't forget. Uh, let me just go change out of this fishing gear. Hey, Peter, what's up? Come on, come on, we gotta go now. Lois, this is Peter. I'm afraid that on my way to the bedroom to change, I took ill. You'd best go to lunch without me. Why do I hear an engine? Uh, because my stomach is rumbling in a way that sounds like the engine of Joe's fishing truck. Damn it, Peter, you're going fishing, aren't you? You promised me you'd come to lunch with my parents today. So, uh, a lot of tension with Peter lately, huh? Tonight is our sex night, and a little physical release will do us both some good. Peter, are you re- Oh, come on! I need a husband who wants to spend time with me. Can I make a suggestion? All you two have done is argue about stuff for the past two weeks. It's my guess you could use a vacation. Why don't you come out to Martha's Vineyard and watch me accept my award? Ah, uh, wow, does that sound wonderful. Brian, this is wonderful. You know, this resort offers some wonderful amenities. They have bird watching, wine tasting, horseback riding. This is so wonderfully peaceful. Yeah, it really is another world out here. And just so quiet. <laughs> I'm half shark and half Peter. Don't come near me. I will eat you. <laughs> I'm gonna go scare some people. <sighs> Nobody will buy it. There are no sharks out here. Lots of people swimming up there. I could pig out if I wanted to. I ate a dog yesterday and now I got a bone stuck in my anus. What do you think's keeping Peter? I hope he gets here before they give you your award. Well, you're here, Lois. That's enough for me. Oh, <laughs> you always know just what to say. Reading a passage from his grand prize-winning short essay, Amazing Grace, tonight's guest of honor, Mr. Brian Griffin. Thank you very much. She was Grace, in name and in essence. To those she loved, she exuded strength, life, laughter, and light. And to me also sorrow, for circumstance had bound her to my best friend, through whom we met in the warmth and serenity of her home. For no person I've ever known has ever done more to make me feel more sure, more insecure, more important, and less significant. Oh, that was beautiful, Brian. Hey, oh, oh, did, did I miss Byron's reward? Brian's award. And yes, you did, Peter. You've been a good son, Brian. Peter, where the hell have you been? Every time you we, we, that we go to a hotel, you hide the key to the minibar from me. But I found it. Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning, Brian. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Oh, morning, Lois. I'm sorry about last night. I promise I'll make it up to you. Well, if you really mean that, I, I was hoping we could go paddle boating today. Great, but can we do it after five? There's a ball game on. Oh, well, then maybe Brian and I can hang out. Do you mind, Brian? No, not at all. Good. Now, can you move, please? You're blocking the screen. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply As time goes by Moonlight and love songs Oh, I had so much fun today, Brian. So did I. Hey, you feel like grabbing something to eat? Oh, I'd love to, but Peter and I were gonna get dinner at that little place by the... Well, <laughs> looks like I am free. Hey, you know what might be fun? How about we just order room service and watch a couple of bad movies? Lois, yeah. I'm sure you've already figured this out, but that essay I wrote, I wrote it about you. Oh, I had a hunch. You know, Lois, you mean a lot to me. I mean, things you say and things you do resonate with me in a big way. Would you like some more champagne? I'd love some. Ah, my head is swimming. 
Oh, my God, Brian, now! Now, stop it! What are you doing? I can't help myself, Lois. I know you're married to Peter, but I love you, and I can't stand it anymore. Brian, no! No! Get down! Get down! This is a good sweater! Ah! Ah! Brian, I think you'd better go. Oh, my God, I attacked Lois. What the hell was I thinking? I'm a rapist. I'm... I am so glad Brian brought us out here, Lois. He's a real pal. You know that? Well, it's actually Brian I need to talk to you about. Boy, he's a hell of a guy, isn't he? I mean, Quagmire's a lot of fun at a party, but, you know, he's so horny all the time, I feel like I can't trust him. Cleveland's a great guy, but he's got a mustache, so you gotta wonder what he's hiding. Joe's a cripple, so for obvious reasons, I can't trust him. But Brian? Brian's solid. He's the one guy I know I can trust. Brian tried to have sex with me. Was he bigger than me? Hey, uh... Lois told me there was some funny business. Yeah, what of it? Well, it's just I can't help but feel a little betrayed, Brian. Lois is my wife, and, well, I mean, all the dry food I bought for you over the years? Yeah, well, you don't deserve her, you know that? Say what now? You don't deserve her. Well, who the hell are you to tell me how to run my marriage? You can't even hang on to a girlfriend for more than a couple months. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, you're a freaking train wreck with that crap, Brian. You couldn't even get Jillian to take you back, and she was dumber than Lou Ferrigno. What are we doing? Look, I'm sorry, all right? It's just, when you have feelings for someone that are strong enough, you just, I don't know, lose sight of the rest of the world. Brian, she's my wife, and you're my best pal. So what are we gonna do about this? <sighs> I promise, Peter, nothing like this will ever happen again. Thanks, old buddy. I just feel terrible about this whole thing, Lois. Can you ever forgive me? Yes, Brian, I can. But there's something you deserve to know. What's that? Well, it's not like I haven't thought about it. Really? Well, yes. I mean, you and I have a lot in common. It's that essay you wrote. Oh, it really touched my heart. Let me just ask you this. When these thoughts about you and I have crossed your mind, is it good? What do you mean? Well, uh... uh... Oh, oh! Yeah. Well, a lot of times when Peter and I are having sex, I feel suffocated. But with you, I imagine it would be like doing it with a stuffed animal. 